Good morning, everyone. So I will today I will be discussing your final requirements, your final activities, and your final exam. I may I remind you that the end of the first semester is on December 22, 2021. But then sa class, we will not be uh, meeting is uh, last week na ng uh, end of semester. So hopefully one week before the end of semester is napasa nyo na yung mga requirements nyo and uh, clear na tayo sa mga topics natin. Baka nakalimutan nyo na ang subject natin is environmental science. So I hope na at the end of this first semester may mga takeaways kayo, you apply what we uh, learn, you apply kung ano man yung discover nyo about sa environmental science, about our topics. So, I hope na hindi lang siya naging part lang ng uh, subjects nyo this semester, but then it has a great impact or may impact siya sa life ninyo. Okay, we have three remaining topics this finals. First is yung five environmental kingdoms. The second one is climate change. And lastly is the water pollution. So you have already your activity about water pollution. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, pati yung climate change. So sa five environmental kingdoms, kung hindi ko kayo ma-meet due to accreditation, I will just be recording the five environmental kingdoms. Okay. So these are your uh, activities or uh, activities, final exam, and output during this uh, finals. So your final exam is you will be conducting a webinar. So yung uh, uh, Yung webinar nyo is an information education campaign. So uh, the instruction is choose one topic from the subject environmental science. So kahit anong topic natin sa environmental, sa environmental science starting from uh, no midterms natin. So choose one topic. Isang topic lang ha. For example, yung five environmental kingdoms. Isang topic, isang uh, kingdom lang doon. So example, pili nyo is planting kingdom. You will be discussing or you will uh, educate or mag-campaign kayo about the planting. Or yung animalia. Or yan, just, just, just choose one. Kung water pollution or water pollution. And then yung mga topics natin nung midterm. So I hope that you can still remember kung ano man yung pinag-usapan natin before or yung subject mismo na uh, environmental science, parang overview na environmental science. So you can uh, choose that. So yung uh, mangyayari is then prepare a module. So gagawa niya siya ng module yung kung ano man yung chosen topic niyo So, hindi nyo na ito choose yung ano ba yung ginawa nyo ng module? Water pollution ba yun? So, uh, yung water pollution, hindi nyo na siya pipiliin. Kung yun yung uh, nagawa nyo module. So, choose another another topic para maka-create kayo ng bagong uh, module. And then yung webinar ninyo is one hour lang siya. So, nandun na yung uh, opening prayer, remarks, ganun. So, this is a preparation for you na uh, soon kung magkanta kayo ng webinar, at least you have uh, experience sa klase natin. Next is you will be having quizzes and assignment during this uh, finals. So, malapit na, malapit na sobrang one month na lang yung finals natin. So, I hope na matapos na rin yung accreditation para at least maka-focus ako sa inyo. Ayun. So, uh, one of your activity 
is uh, we need to advocate zero waste. Ano ba tong zero waste na to? So lahat ng ginagamit natin, wala sanang maitatapon. So kunyari, for, uh, itatapon mo na yung plastic bottle. But then, pwede mo pa siyang magamit. So, recycle that. So, wala kang itatapon. Wala kang itatapon sa... Uh, wala kang itatapon sa garbage bag. Ganyan. Everything is... Uh, pwede mong... Everything na pwede mong... Na pwede mo sana itapon. Pero pwede mo pa siyang magamit. Gamitin. Eh, hindi lang siya recyclable. Ano ba ang pwede mong gawin? Kunyari yung uh, madami. Madami kayong uh, paano nyo i-advocate yung zero waste. So, this is from December 6 to 10. So, mangyayari dyan is that next example is kunyari yan, day 1. So, five days to from December 6 to December 10. You will be posting on in social media yung uh, uh, pag-advocate nyo na zero waste. So, an example is day one, introduce yourself, name, course, school, encourage other people or invite people to join you in advocating zero waste. So, mangyari dito, for example, I'm Alay Fabag. Currently studying uh, environmental and sanitary engineering at the University of Baguio. I want to invite you to join me in advocating zero waste. So, ganyan lang. So, super maikli lang. Hindi siya video, but then uh, words siya. And then yung content, you will be looking for a content that uh, advocates zero waste. So, sobrang dami yung uh, uh, mga articles about zero waste. Yan. So, we will not be creating mismo yung content ninyo. So, magka-copy-paste lang kayo. So, yung reference ninyo, huwag niyo siyang kakalimutan. You need to put your reference. So, yung content, hindi galing mismo yan sa inyo. Galing yan sa uh, internet. And then also, include yung picture. Kung may picture kayo that represents yung content ninyo, ilagay ninyo. So, hindi mandatory or hindi naman uh, mandatory na kailangan yung picture is galing sa inyo mismo. So, you can download that also. But then, you need to uh, cite yung references ninyo. So, I hope that is clear from day 1, December 6, December 7, 8, 9, and 10. That is 5 day Uh, zero waste. Advocating zero waste. So, syempre, ilagay nyo doon day one. Ang papalitan nyo lang dyan every day is yung content and yung references ninyo. So, hindi dapat na pare-pareho kayo. Okay? And then, include also hashtag NYSI. Hashtag NYSI. Yan. Things I was already doing towards zero waste. Reusing plastic bags, choosing reusable straws, saying no to plastic cutlers, uh, plastic spoons. Yan. And also, I will be uh, discussing yung paggawa ng module ninyo, especially yung objective or what sa part ng module ninyo module ninyo is what do I need to learn? Kasi most of you is uh, para siyang parang puro cognitive lang siya. So, in creating your uh, module, kailangan na matakal yung three uh, kailangan matakal itong three na, three na to. Like, itong uh, cognitive affective and behavioral yung application. So, I will be giving all of you a chance na i-revise yung modules ninyo, especially yung sa objective ninyo or what do I need to learn. And syempre, magbabago na rin yung 
Kasi yung what do I need to learn sa so what do I need to do or yung activity ninyo, dapat na yung activity ninyo, masasagot niya yung objective ninyo. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Yung paggawa ng uh, objective or yung aim ng inyong module. Yan. So, in creating your objective or yung aims ninyo, at least dapat makuha niya tong uh, tatlong to, tatlong aims na to. Yung cognitive, what or how will the students think? So, it talks about yung knowledge na or yung about sa mind natin. And then sa affective, what or how will the students feel? So it uh it it touched naman yung feel feelings and then behavioral ano yung application gagawin or ano yung action na gagawin ng students what will the students do So first cognitive dapat yung statement nyo sa uh, objective one or what do I need to learn is uh, cognitive, we talk about the cognitive, and then the second one is affective, and the last is the behavioral. So you can visit uh, Bloom's Taxonomy para makita nyo doon saan yung cognitive. So ano ba yung mga words na pwedeng uh, uh, magamit sa uh, cognitive. Sa affective naman, ano yung pwede. And sa behavioral, ano naman yung pwede doon. So uh, this slides is from our professor sa SEM, sa BBSNI. So, I just uh, borrowed it. Yun. So, dito, uh, napag-aaralan namin on how we can effectively teach yung mga students namin kasi yung subject namin is teaching the Bible. So, may example siya dito, but then, uh, hindi ko alam kung may intindihan nyo, but then, uh, Let's try to, yan. So, ito yung, uh, ito yung example. So, uh, yung topic is about Philippines 2. So, yung cognitive niya, recognize. So, yung word, yung keyword is recognize. Makikita nyo yan sa Bloomstock Exonomy. So, recognize yung principle ng humility. So, uh, Sa cognitive, may isip niya na, na ah, ito yung principle ng humility. And then sa affective naman, students will take to heart the importance of humility. Siyempre, na-recognize mo na yung principle ng humility. And then makikita mo yung uh, sa affective, ma may sa puso mo yung importance ng humility. And then what do you do after, you, uh, after knowing the principle and the importance of uh, if after taking to heart yung the importance of humility, what do you need to do? So the students will practice humility. Siyempre, practice mo na. Diba? Kasi if you learn something, you should practice it. Diba? Hindi lang puro head knowledge lang tayo. So when you learn something, you apply it. At the end of the day, at the end of the lessons, you need to apply it. Kasi useless kung puro ka na lang, puro na lang nasa utak, wala naman sa, uh, hindi naman nakikita sa actions mo. So, kung ano man yung uh, lessons natin sa uh, environment, sa science, kung ano man yung uh, mga topics natin, I hope na may incorporate nyo yan sa mga courses ninyo. 
and sa sarili niyong buhay. So, especially yung zero waste uh, na advocation natin, advocating zero waste, makikita doon, di ba, you will be posting about uh, zero waste. And then yung action mo naman is taliwas doon sa pinopost mo. So, I hope that uh, what we will post sa social media from December 6 to December 10 will reflect, reflect ourselves. So, kung before... Uh, ito yung alam mo and then sa pagbabasa mo nakita mo yung zero zero ways ito pala yung ganito pa yung zero ways i hope na i-apply natin sa sarili natin yung mga pin- yung pinopost natin sa social media dapat mag-reflect kung ano tayo hindi yung uh, tawag doon poster ba yun yun so what we post in social media should reflect our uh, uh, ourselves. So, yun lang. If you have any questions, you can comment down below para at least dito na ako mag uh, magsagot and then makita din ng mga classmates ninyo. Baka yung iba is same questions. At least diba, nasagot yung tanong ninyo. So, yun lang. So, I hope na natuto kayo. May mga natutunan kayo. May mga baon-baon kayong uh, lessons from the from our subject environmental science yun see you kung pwede na thank you so much and goodbye everyone